We will reread the story, A Pig for Cliff. This is a fantasy story. A fantasy story has events and characters that are imaginary, cannot happen in real life, and often has talking animals. Fantasy stories have a clear beginning, middle, and end. The beginning of the story includes details about who is in the story and where the story takes place. The middle of the story and the end of the story will have details about what happens. Let's go ahead and look at our story. A Pig for Cliff. This is the beginning of the story. I see a cat and I see a pig. They are standing outside near a house. The words tell me... Cliff, Cliff is glad. Cliff has a new pet. I can see that the cat's name is Cliff. It is slim. It is a big black pig. It and, is slim. It is a big black pig. And that slim is the pig. Now I know where the story takes place and I know who the characters are. Let's take a look here. This is the middle of the story. Slim cannot fit in. Come out, Slim. Come out, Slim. The words and illustrations will tell us details about what happens to Cliff and Slim. So think about it. What is happening to them on these pages? Slim can't fit into the house. Well, why can't he fit into the house? Was anyone thinking he's too fat? Yeah, he's too fat to fit into the house. We will keep looking at the story to find details. So, let's take a look here first. We're going to look for some key details. Remember, key details help you understand a story. Key details happen in order or in sequence. We're going to find a detail in the story. The first detail that we're going to put over here is about Slim and Cliff. So let's go back to the first page of our story. So here we meet Cliff and Slim. We can say Cliff has a big black pig named Slim. That's what we learned from this page. So I'm going to add that detail in. Cliff has a pet pig named Slim. Now let's look for another detail in our story. So this is the first detail. This was the beginning of our story. Now we want to find a middle detail to add. What do you notice? We talked about these pages. What do you see that seems like a key detail to include, to remember? Well, we just talked about how slim is too fat to fit into the house. So we can add that detail into our key details. Slim is too fat to get into the house. Okay, we're going to look for one more detail from our story. Let's take a look. Let's listen. Slam. Cliff cannot sit with Slim. Cliff and Slim slip. Slim can go up. Cliff cannot. Slim can pull Cliff. 
Slim will be a good pet. Slim can pull clip. Slim will be a good pet. So let's see if we can combine an idea about these two pages to say what happened at the end of our story. Well, what happened here? Let's look at that picture. Slim broke the swing. Yep. He was too fat. He broke that swing. But then what did happen here? Slim is helping Cliff because Cliff wasn't able to walk up back up the hill. So let's see, can we combine those two ideas? Hmm. We should say Slim broke the swing and he helps Cliff get up the hill. So Slim broke the swing. I might even put a but, not an and, but he is, but he helps Cliff get back up. Okay, let's take a look at our details. Can you read them with me? So what happens first? Cliff has a pet pig named Slim. That's the first thing we learned in the beginning of the story. What happened in the middle? Slim is too fat to get into the house. What happened at the end of our story? Slim broke the swing, but he helps Cliff get back up. So by walking through the story, we are able to find a detail for the middle, beginning, the middle, and the end.